right here is Filmic Pro. It's not what I'm using. I'm going to use, well, actually, I did use Filmic Pro, but then I clicked on Double Take from within that. Let's try going Double Take here. So, yeah, that's how it looked. That's how it looked when I was interviewing Jamie. So, you're going to have that on your screen. And that'll be, you know, it's me and in my office in front of me here. Very cool. So that's what you're going to expect to see when you're shooting. So very often I'm having to interview people and take a couple cameras out. Sometimes I'll just switch it back and forth, me to the other person or whatever. But this is Filmic Pro. And apparently it's letting me do either a picture in picture or it's letting me record two sources at once. So I've got Jamie in front of me here. Jamie, say hey. Hello. I just want to see how how's it sound. Uh, tell me how's how is how was your holiday? How was the Thanksgiving for you and your family? Thanksgiving was fine. We um, sad to say it was just like any other Thanksgiving. <laughs> we didn't we didn't uh, change a thing that we did. We did it one, just like we do it. <laughs> I have one I have one cool question for you though. This is and I'm testing it. What I'm doing here, I'm testing the audio. And and Jamie is about four feet from the camera. I'm about two and a half feet from the camera. We're in very poor kind of fluorescent light, so the, forgive, be forgiven of the light source here. We talked about maybe going outside, but I've got this on a little skinny monopod. And, and but I was going to ask is you are a vegetarian? No, you're not. You're a vegan. How how did you eat during Thanksgiving? How does a vegan? I mean, what what, what kind of stuff did you did you feast upon? Uh, you just have to ask what's in different dishes, and if it's got any animal products or butter or oils in it, you just don't eat it. And if you go hungry on Thanksgiving, you go hungry on Thanksgiving. <laughs> well, uh, did, your mom, did you go over to your mom's house? Yeah, we, we, made a, um, we made a big shepherd's pie uh, and uh, put a lot of, uh, what was it, lentils yeah. and uh, all kind of veggies. And it had, uh, instead of doing uh, Irish potatoes, we did sweet potatoes on top of it. So yeah. it had baked sweet potatoes on top of it, so it was beautiful. And uh, the first few people that came to it thought it was a sweet potato casserole. And they dug into it, and I think people don't curse at my house, but they probably would have been cursing if they could have when they saw that there was not sweet potatoes <laughs> down under there. It was not a sweet potato casserole. There's no marshmallows and all that mess. Oh, yeah. You know, it was. Uh, it was like, what is this? I said, it's a shepherd's pie. What's well, a shepherd's pie? Now, now, <laughs> you're going. Is it three years you've been a vegan now? Three wow. or four. Yeah, I'm, I'm not a vegan. I'm just plant-based whole food. Well, you, yeah, but you don't, you don't eat almost any, really nothing. Well, I don't know. You don't eat any. I call it plant, plant-based whole food just because of the connotation of a vegan being, uh, some people take it as a religious type. I got you. And I I'll say you. vegan at, at a restaurant or something. I'll say, is this vegan just for clarification? Because they don't understand. They anything. understand. They don't understand the, the nuances there. Yeah, they don't mm-hmm. understand plant-based whole food. But about everything... That you eat out has butter in it. If it, if it yeah. tastes good, most vegetables have um, meat grease in them. And if you don't ask, they you know. If it, and typically, if you if you bite into it, and it tastes exceptionally good. It's it's not it's not right. <laughs> Jamie, Jamie and I both. Now Jamie started before me. I tried the whole sort of plant based thing for about five months. Five months or so, I stuck stuck with it, and uh, I found myself honestly kind of overeating it and it's, I, I, I found yeah. the things that I liked a lot and I ate way too much of them you could <laughs> and, uh, and, and it sort of uh, came down with me it's sort of like I found my own modified version of it I go about I'd say I'm about 85% plant based and yeah. I eat fish mm-hmm. chicken once in a while a little bit of ham or something once in a while but mostly I do eat vegetables yeah. and, I, and I've, I've switched over to lentils like you say yeah. pea, peas beans yeah. lots of beans peas beans lentils tofu tempeh um, yeah. I do eat fish on occasion I will if um, yeah. typically I like to get maybe some wild caught salmon yeah you like freshwater fish yeah. don't you or um, if I catch trout or something myself if I know where it's sourced from I'll, I'll eat it uh, try not to do too much of that but it's had a huge impact on your health though hasn't it yeah, I mean, I feel I'm I'm basically a, besides my knee hurting, which is a, a wrestling yeah, that, injury. That's a different thing. Yeah, I'm I'm like a blood work and everything. I'm like a 50 year old teenager. I, I feel as good as I did when I was yeah. in in high school, and you, I weighed what I weighed in high school. Well, you 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 were a, a wrestler in high school, mm-hmm. and you messed your knee up wrestling. Yeah, yeah. I, I think I did. It it was injured then, and then it, it playing basketball later, I, I further injured it. What was your weight when you, when you wrestled? Uh, one. You were skinny then. Yeah, I, I was one fifty two. Uh, but 
during like off season, I'd run up to one seventy five, one eighty, which is what I weigh now. I, yeah. I would cut yeah. weight down to one fifty two yeah. to make a, a weight class, but I, I was naturally. As a senior in high school, I was naturally about 175, 180. Yeah, I would play basketball at about 190, mm-hmm. and I'd play football about 205. Yeah. So when I was in high school, I got heavier than that when I was in college. Actually, but, I jumped up to I jumped up to 215, 220, lifting weights right after yeah. after high school. Wow. And um, I was bulked up pretty good, and I ate, I ate everything I could get my hands on then, and yeah. and it didn't affect my my cholesterol and my. Um, Blood problems didn't start to mid forties, early forties. Yeah, I rode that that um, wave of being pre diabetic for about seven or eight, ten years almost, and then went over the mm-hmm. what what's what's kind of precipitated my big change was last a, a year ago, last November, was uh, when I found out I was full on diabetic in in a bad way, mm-hmm. and so yeah, I this I say this just for the people out there that don't know the story already. Uh, if I, if I share this, this is just kind of cool to be able to do an interview like this. Is yeah, so I've I've, I've been a full year eating no candy, mm. no no sweets, no cake, no ice cream. That's no, good. The, the, the number one things I've taken out: no jelly beans, no yeah. no, bu- no bubble gum, chewing gum, anything, nothing nothing with sugar in it. And that's uh, that's made the, the big difference kind of with me. And that's kind of the diet I can stick with: zero sugar and about 10, 15 percent meat. Yeah. Or, or animal products. Yeah. That's just to kind of get the gnawing out of me if I ever start really wanting. I, I, I'll eat some cheese. I don't, eat, I don't eat hardly any butter at all, but I do, I, I let a piece of cheese or something on, yeah. my, on something once in a while. Well, this has been cool. This is a good enough test for me to see how this works. I don't I think quick, I'm shooting 4K. Quick what? question on this. Could you, uh, could you set this up with a scrolling, um, we call those uh, where you can read it off the screen. Could you set that up while you're doing the interview if you want to turn it around the other direction? Oh, do like a, a what's that called where you read teleprompter? Could you use your phone as like a teleprompter and, and do that, this interview? I do not know. <clears throat> you know, so what I've, I've got a teleprompter, but that actually uses the phone and displays it. And we're not using teleprompter at all now. I don't know. Could I Be use cool. Could I do, huh? You know what I'm saying? Oh, that's what you're saying. So in other words, instead of looking at you, I'd be looking at words on screen. Yeah. Like if, if, if you could be talking to me and I could have a teleprompter, I guess, it, or you could put, maybe you could put your questions on one side and, yeah. you know, my, you know, whatever I want to say on the other side, we can sit here and read could, it. Could, could, I don't could know. The, the, the main thing, though, is, is it's cool to know you can go out and do an interview with somebody. One camera. And one, and one, one iPhone. Not even have to one camera. device. One device. Yep. Very so, nice. so, so it's Filmic Pro. <clears throat> Using a plug-in called Double Take, and that's what this has been a test of Filmic Pro using Double Take. Like I say, poor light, so don't 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 think this is the uh, an indictment of the iPhone. I, I see I've got different kind of light on me because there's more light shining on me, and Jamie's kind of backlit with the lamp behind his head. But still, it gets uh, and he's farther away, so he'll sound different. Now, I'm assuming it's using both mics. I'm assuming it's using the front mic for you, the back mic for me, or whether maybe it's the back and the front. I don't know how they. It calculates that. We'll see. Yeah. Man, thank you so much. Y'all, Jamie Griffin, the incomparable Jamie Griffin. Cool. <laughs> now, the, this is me a little bit later in the studio, and I'm taking a look at this. And so I went to my Filmic Pro to see if it was in there, but no, it's inside Double Take, which is works inside of Filmic Pro. So it actually, you, here's a Double Take. Here's where you got your A and your B. So I'm going to offload both of these onto my computer. It looks like you just drag them. You're not seeing it. I'm dragging it off screen. looks like it's going to copy just fine. I'll get the B one too here. And then I'll, uh, I'm going to make my video then from these two bits of video. Pretty cool.